Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie for Diesel Dollar Budgets and today we're going to update and revamp our cash envelopes for 2023. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, please stay tuned for more. Hi guys and welcome back. So as you can see here I've got my two uh, personal size Moterm planners that I've used as my cash envelope wallets. This one, the black one here, is a personal just the standard personal and this teal one is a personal lux. Um, I've been using them for a few months and I have just found that I really want to revamp my cash envelopes for next year. I'm just going through my whole planner system and my lineup and everything and just deciding what I want to use for 2023 to keep me on track. And, you know, I've been using the same envelopes for a few months and because of that, you know, there's a bit of wear and tear and I also want to configure a few new envelopes and, you know, get rid of some other ones. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with our um, sinking funds and as you can see here, I'm just going to take these out. So these are the cash envelope wallops that I've been using, wallops, <laughs> wallops that I've been using for a few months, uh, ever since I restarted my uh, cash stuffing journey. and. You can see that some of them have started to fall apart. Laminated envelopes just have a tendency of falling apart over time if they get too stressed. But because I've used thick cardstock here and then used vellum to give it this frosted effect, it, they've fallen apart quicker than what I really expected. Um, so what I want to do is actually take all the money out of these envelopes and put them into my new ones that I've created. So this is just an example of what I've done. I've It's very similar to these ones that I've previously got, except that the frosting isn't there because I haven't used any vellum. This is just clear. I've also improved them by uh, changing the paper that I used to actually create the envelopes. This is actually uh, 120 GSM paper with a uh, white marble pattern printed onto it so it's a lot thinner than what these are and therefore when I laminated them they actually came out really 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 clear as you can see whereas on this one there was a lot of bubbling and you know it didn't look so great um, and I've also added like a little peekaboo effect to the bottom corner here I've also during this process actually changed my um, trackers that I want to use as well so as you can see here, this one, the spaces are a little bit smaller and, you know, there's, it just, it's very much a, a lot thinner than the ones that I've revamped to. So these ones are on a, uh, using a thicker laminate and then the spaces are a bit uh, more wide. That way it encourages me to wipe everything off and, you know, there's not as much information, like there's a lot of wasted space here in a lot of my trackers and I want to encourage myself to wipe everything off and you know update it every so often. So I'm going to uh, empty out these envelopes and put these new ones back in and then we'll get started. So as you can see I've just slipped in the new envelopes and I think they look really really good in this planner. Um, I just want to go through the uh, you know categories that I'm using for next year so very similar I've got savings which you know obviously savings I've also um, put in a spending envelope just because I was finding that I was using our savings as spending and I really don't want to do that anymore I want to actually have savings as savings so I've put that one in emergency is still staying the same I've actually gotten rid of pet emergency and I'm just combining it into one pets envelope Gifts is staying the same as is her birthday, his birthday, health, subscriptions. Um, I've put in a new travel envelope because I do want to start saving for that as well as our wedding because, you know, we do want to get married and I want to be putting money aside. I'm sick of, you know, not having anything to, you know, say, yes, we are saving for a wedding. Then Diesel Dollar Budgets and Pile of Shame is the same. I did add some uh, clear just unlabeled ones to the back just so I can have something that I can you know add more categories if I want to and in the same vein I've also got some blank cash envelope trackers more than what I need but you know just have them on hand if I need them in the future. So what I'm going to do from here is take out the money from these envelopes and put it into the new ones. So 
as you can see all of these envelopes are now completely stuffed uh, I haven't actually filled in any of the information on the back just yet because I'm going to be filming a cash stuffing after this video so I want to be able to add in the totals there um, but let's just get on and continue with updating our cash envelopes in our savings funds binder so again we have our savings fund binder in our dark deep teal um, I'm just going to do exactly the same thing and remove any of the envelopes that I've got in here um, as you may notice these are a bit more bare considering uh, Luke and I actually just completely wiped our savings and actually went and did our grocery not our grocery shopping our Christmas shopping for the kids for this year we went and got a whole bunch of presents and therefore that wiped us out completely the only thing that is still in here is the savings challenge for the YouTube subscribes challenge and and that's because this will be going towards a giveaway when I reach a thousand subscribers so uh, you know keep up to date and keep sharing our videos just to you know help us get to that 1,000 subscriber mark but I'm going to empty this out and then transfer everything over again So as you can see I've just added all of my savings challenges to these envelopes. Um, I've wiped them all off so that they're all clear except for the uh, YouTube savings challenge. Um, but I'm also going to add two new envelopes to this binder because um, I've developed two savings challenges for 2023. Now these are going to be available on the well, on, in the description bar down below for a free download for the month of December so I've got two of them that I wanted to you know just try out for myself so I've got a 2023 challenge which is 20 lots of 23 and the total at the end of the you know at the end of the uh, challenge is 460 so I'm just going to add this one into an envelope And then I've also got a two, uh, 2023 in 2023 challenge. So this one will help you to save up to $2,023 in 2023, just using various different amounts and will help you to total that. So both of these savings challenges are going to be available for the month of December uh, for free in the description bar down below. I will keep links to them in any of the videos that I you know put up for the month of December after that they will be available on my Etsy store so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and are looking forward to seeing my new envelopes in action during my new videos and I will talk to you in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.